In order to be eligible to apply for adjustment of status in the United States based on marriage, you need to show that you've legally entered the United States, the beneficiary, or the person has been covered under INA 245I, meaning that they either filed a labor certification or some type of family-based petition, they were the beneficiaries of it, before April 30th, 2001. If those requirements or either of those requirements are met and you're married to a United States citizen, you can file for adjustment of status in the United States. This is true even if you entered the United States illegally 10, 20 years ago. You're still going to be eligible for adjustment of status as long as you prove, can prove a legal entry. In addition, you're going to have to demonstrate it's a bona fide relationship, that this is a real marriage, and immigration is going to want to see evidence of that and ask you questions about that at the adjustment of status interview and the beneficiary, your spouse, is going to have to show that they are admissible to the United States. What does that mean? They're going to have to do a medical exam, take their fingerprints, and swear to certain questions on the application that they're not terrorists, that they haven't uh, lied to immigration to gain an immigration benefit, haven't used or sold illegal drugs, etc. A whole series of questions that they're going to answer. But presuming that the beneficiary, your spouse, is admissible to the United States and they should have no problem adjusting status, as long as you can also prove that the marriage is real, again, and that you entered the United States legally or were covered under INA 245I. If you have questions as to whether or not your spouse is eligible for adjustment of status and how the process works, or would you like a lawyer to take you through the process so you don't have to do the paperwork on your own, please contact my office and we'd be very happy to assist you with your application.